In this video, I'm going to talk to you about how Nikon China in a Weibo post has teased about a 67 megapixel sensored camera. Now, this new 67 megapixel sensor, will it show up in the new Nikon Z8 that's rumored to be coming up sometime between now and the end of October? Or will it show up in a new high megapixel sensored Nikon camera? Details coming up. But first, I encourage you to subscribe and choose all notifications so you're kept informed on the latest camera gear, news, and rumors. Nikon China just posted these four pictures in their Weibo account to promote an upcoming live broadcast on September the 10th and another live broadcast on September the 24th. Take a look at these images. You see those four down there? Well, the last one is of bottle caps and it has a resolution of 6,670 by 10,000. 66,700 by 10,000 translates to, well, no surprises here, 66.7 megapixels. Nikon doesn't have a camera capable of producing a 66.7 megapixel image. And Nikon rumors did check sources to see if there was a stock image like this anywhere on the internet in stocked services and well, they came up dry. So this appears to be a new photo, a new image. However, it is certainly possible that this could be taken with a camera that has a 100 megapixel sensor and well, cropped down, it's certainly possible as well. 66.7, it's a very interesting number. I think what's more likely here is that Nikon is teasing us. This is an official Nikon, Nikon China Weibo account and they're teasing that, hey look, we've got an image here, just one of them, just one of those four has a resolution of 66.7 megapixels. There's been a lot of talk lately about the Nikon Z8. How to Fly has been lighting up the internet on the Nikon Z8 saying that it's gonna be showing up sometime in August all the way up till the end of October, saying that it's definitely coming, it's coming this year. Whereas Nikon Rumors is saying the complete opposite. Let me read you what Nikon Rumors has to say about this. If such a camera exists, referring to the Nikon Z8, it's not coming anytime soon. Nikon still cannot fulfill their existing Z9 orders and they will not announce a new camera that can potentially compete or even sell better than the Nikon Z9. Not happening. Once the Z9 is sitting on store shelves, only then can we start talking about a potential Nikon Z8 development announcement. And this is what's made covering news about the Nikon Z8 since July all that interesting. We have Nikon rumors, which has been a very good, accurate barometer of all things coming up on Nikon. So you'd expect that if the Nikon Z8 is due to come out this year, they would know about it. And they're saying it's not gonna happen anytime soon. And now we have How to Fly, a relatively newcomer to the field, but has been accurate on several different things, including just recently some lens announcements from Tamron. So which one is correct? Well, we won't know until we actually get an announcement of a Nikon Z8 if the camera does exist at all. And just because we have a leaked image from a Nikon China Weibo account for 66.7 megapixels doesn't mean it's gonna be in the Nikon Z8 or justify that a Nikon Z8 exists at all. But if it does, if the Nikon Z8 is a camera that's ready to be released onto the market or at least announced, keep in mind that they could go ahead and announce it and not make it available for shipping for some three, four, even five months. And that would certainly solve some of the shipping problems. But a 66.7 megapixel image teases, yes, it certainly teases that we have an upcoming Nikon camera capable of 66.7 megapixels or even higher. Remember, this could be cropped down, but I think they're pointing to a camera with a 66.7 megapixel sensor, full frame sensor on a new camera coming out. Now, will this be the Nikon Z8? It's certainly possible, but it's also possible that they're coming out with a different camera altogether. Look at Sony, they currently have a 61 megapixel camera and it's really designed at shooting high megapixel images. It's not designed at shooting 20, 30 frames per second electronic. It's not designed for shooting high resolution video. And a 66 or 66.7 megapixel sensor, I'm not too sure. I think I'm gonna start a poll on this. This 66.7 megapixel image does it allude to a new camera like the Nikon Z8 or a high megapixel version of the Z8 or even Z9, a completely new camera model? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if I do have the poll, go ahead and vote in the poll because I think this is very, very interesting. But again, this is just one tease from Nikon China about a potential camera coming out with an image sensor. As far as the Z8 goes, if we are supposed to be getting an announcement imminently, 
well, I would have certainly expected a lot more details in terms of a leak, and that we haven't had. And at this point, that has me looking towards Nikon rumors as being, well, accurate here. I, I don't see any information, any credible information, any validated information that says, yes, the Nikon Z8 is imminent. And if we look back at how to fly's post, they did say that we were definitely getting an announcement in August. And well, here we are, August the 28th, Sunday. Well, we're not going to get it today. We're definitely not going to get it tomorrow. And well, to get it on Tuesday, just a couple of days away without any leaks in any way whatsoever, or maybe even Wednesday, I think the chances of getting an announcement on the Nikon Z8 this August are pretty slim. And that would mean that their first post where they were pretty definite about it coming out in August certainly hasn't happened. Then they issued another post saying, well, it's definitely going to happen before the end of October at the latest, but most likely in September or October but definitely not August, but now well, could be August, right? And that's the problem with rumors. They're not exact. And even if we do get something that's credible, that's leaked until we get an official announcement, things can change. And maybe they're completely focused on the Nikon Z9 or maybe other cameras. Because keep in mind, Nikon is producing more than just the Nikon Z9. They're having issues and challenges across their entire logistics. And just because they're having trouble fulfilling the Z9 doesn't mean that they stop all development on the Nikon Z8 or the Nikon Z7 or the Nikon Z3, Z6 Mark III. No, it just means that they're watching their channel to be able to determine if now is the right time to release a camera. And certainly in August, I don't think so. I think September the 9th all the way up to the end of October is the most likely for a Nikon announcement of a new camera. And I do believe we are going to get a new Nikon camera announcement. I just don't know what it's going to be and at this point. I'm not willing to place bets. I'm not willing to tell you that, yes, definitely keep an eye. The Nikon Z8 is imminent, but I'm certainly going to cover any bit of news on the Nikon Z8, whether it's coming from How to Fly in his Twitter feed, or if it's coming from Nikon Rumors or anybody else, anything credible that gives us a hint as to what's in Nikon's lineup for the rest of this year or going into 2023. The Nikon Z9 is a phenomenal camera, and I'm sure that the Nikon Z8 will be a phenomenal camera too. And I wouldn't be surprised if Nikon is also working on a high megapixel censored camera. We know that Sony and Canon are also working on a 100 plus megapixel sensor. We know that Panasonic Lumix is also doing the same. So to have a camera capable of 66.7 megapixels is certainly plausible. So if you want to stay up to date on the latest camera news and rumors, specifically covering Nikon or the Nikon Z8, any new upcoming cameras with a 66.7 megapixel sensor, Go ahead and subscribe, but please choose all notifications. So that way, as soon as I publish a new video, you'll get notified by YouTube so you can stay up to date on the latest camera news and rumors. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your summer, and we'll see you again soon.